Hello there today, YouTube fellers, um, and fellettes. Today I'm going to show you how to port forward. Um, port, this is a Hytron Technologies router uh, model with CGN. Stuff will be down in the description of how exactly how it's spelled. I'm not great at pronouncing it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to port forward on Minecraft or TeamSpeak, either one, whichever. Um, normally it has the same setup as any other router like I've done this with a different type of router before and it's just about the same setup not very hard to do very good, easy uh, what you can do first of all is you can go here you need to go to your CMD just type CMD there oh bring it over you're going to type in IP config okay what you're looking for is your IPv4 address Okay, ours is there. Well, I'm not going to port forwarding this computer precisely, so what I what I can do through my router, we can do. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while. We can figure all. Nah, I don't tell you anymore. Unless I typed in the wrong command. Okay, but anyhow, that one was ten. So what I would get here is what you're going to do. You're going to type in your 192.168.0.1, which is basically, I believe, your IPv6. And I um, know, uh, sorry, it's your default gateway. Well, you want to type that in your address bar, and when you do that. It'll bring you up to your login page. Most the usernames default are either cuss admin or admin, and normally the password for your password is password. But for me, I changed mine up. I just have it saved at the moment, so I don't have to type anything. So we'll go forward. Okay, and from there, it'll bring you up to a place. Uh, probably be about your system information. If not, it's going to bring you somewhere on your page. You're just basically going to log in. Which was, like I said, the username's either admin or cuss admin, and the password's normally always password. If not, you can normally always search, search them up on Google and find it. Okay, but when you go to port forward, like mine's under firewall, now you're going to see I already have everything port forward and everything, but I'm going to do a quick example of all my steps I have to do. I also have TeamSpeak, and if you want TeamSpeak and later on for, just please hit that like button. That's nice so I know to make it. Hey, so what we're going to do is we're going to click Add. You can name the application name whatever you want. I'll just name it Minecraft Test. Got to remember no spaces. Public port 25565. Five. Or if you want, just to make things a little different, I said you can get people a special port just to join on it. You can basically make it whatever you want. But we're just going to stick with the basics, so you know I have it. But like I said, this is just a test for you all guys to see. And we will throw this right here. IP config. Let's see. I've heard 10. Okay. Remember, to it always to PV4 address, which was mine was 10. Let me put 192. Dot. That's basically all there really is to port forwarding. I would test it, but I don't have the actual software to run on my my main computer. Now my server, on the other hand, is always running a Minecraft server. For instance, I'll show you right here. Just type it loads. Okay. Now we'll click play. Hopefully sometime today.
And for the people, if you're going to be running it off your own computer, more than likely, I'm going to say half the time, you're going to have to use your uh, that local or the IPv4 address you used in your port if you're running it on the same router. If not, you can use whatever IP you have or if you're using a hidden static IP just to make things look cool. Let's see, I'm going to add server. That's the server computer for me. And see, as we see, out of five. Let's see if it lets us join any time. Ah, I've got to whitelist myself. Uh, but anyhow, you guys see how it's basically done. You see the server's up and the whitelist is on, so... In order for me to fix the whitelist, I have to go into another computer. Which, yeah. But okay, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And hit that like button if you'd like to see more port forwarding or how-to videos. I'm, I'll am i more than likely do them if I know how to, so... Be sure to hit that, hit that like button, people. Hit it. Yeah, you know you want to. Um, but I will show you guys one quick website as well, which will help you out in the long run. I should have showed you all this from the beginning. Mix office. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Which one type in? I'm using Google Chrome. Always remember that so I can just type in without the dot com. But you can go to portforward.com. What you want to do from here is you want to go to port forwarding guides. Here you're going to find your port or your router, which right here is a quick way to find it. I mean, they got basically every router down through here. And you're just going to, like this one, mine, Hytrin, just close this little ad. That's nothing really to worry about. It's just showing that the site's working. And my model CGN. And say we want to do, here I'll just show you Minecraft for instance. As you see, there's all different kinds of things here. I'm going to scroll down, see. Showing me my login page. And where it starts me off at. I just go down with the firewall. Keeps going down. And right here you see what it's telling me to put in. Now the IP address. That's your IPv4, they don't put it there, because it makes it easy, I mean, you can put it right here, like, and it'll automatically fill it out for you. Now when we scroll down, it should be filled out, see? But the only thing is, this isn't going to do your whole port for you, it's just going to set you up. I said you can see what it's all supposed to look like before you're done. Alrighty. Remember, hit that like button if you want to see more ports, port forwarding information, etc. But this website here will help you out a ton. It's always helped me out. It's completely free, so why not use what they give you for free? Okay, so thanks for watching.